Okay, in the previous tutorial, uh, we manipulated a very large data set which consisted of stock day observations. Uh, basically, what we did as a refresher is after uh, gathering stock uh, 1.7 million stock day observations, we calculated a few uh, variables, the bid-ask spread, share turnover, market cap, and a measure of range volatility. Okay, And then what we did we sorted the data by ticker by date and then we ran a procedure, a SAS procedure, which basically calculated the mean of these variables we created in the previous data step. We, we calculated the mean by ticker. So we took the mean, uh, for instance, the mean share price for each stock across the 250 trading days or so. Okay, And we came up with a new SAS data set. We output output of that SAS data set to something called data 3 and that data 3 SAS data set consists of the average bid ask spread, the average share turnover, the average market cap, average price, average trading volume and average range volatility. Uh, what we did next is we ran another proc means procedure and instead of calculating the mean across stocks or across days rather we calculated the standard deviation of daily returns for each stock across days. In other words, this gives us a measure of volatility, the standard deviation of daily returns for each stock. Okay, We ran that. It didn't take very long. SAS is very powerful in, in manipulating large data sets. And we were able to get a measure of volatility. We were able to get a measure of volatility for each stock across all of the days in the sample time period. Now what I want to do in this procedure is I want to carefully merge what uh, is in data set data 3 and data set data 4. I want to merge them together by ticker. So we have average share prices but we have standard deviation of daily returns and I want to merge those two things together in a data set called data 5. To do this I have to make sure that data set data 3 and data set data 4 are sorted by the same variable that I'm merging with. Okay, I already know that these two data sets are already sorted by ticker, but I'm going to uh, do this anyway just so uh, those following along understand. So I have to sort the data. I use the SAS procedure proc sort to do so. I have to sort the data by the variable that I'm going to merge upon. Okay. So now I'm going to create a new uh, SAS data set in a new data step called data5. And instead of setting, like notice here I set the previous SAS data set. Instead of setting the data, I'm going to merge data3 and data4 by ticker. Okay. So just to recall, this is data set data4. It consists of ticker symbols and our measure of volatility, which is the standard deviation of daily returns across all days in 2018. And this is data set data 3, which consists of the ticker and then consists of the average bid-ask spread, the average turnover, the average market cap, the average price, the average volume, and the average range volatility. Okay. Now I'm going to merge these two things by ticker. Let me print this to get a look at how it wound up. And again, this is going to be merging on ticker. And there you have it. Notice that what it did is it just took that column from data set data 4 and merged it to data set data 3 by ticker. Okay. This seemed like a very simple thing to do. However, there are instances <clears throat> uh, I have had many headaches in my life trying to merge uh, data sets together. Uh, finding the right variables to merge on, uh, making sure there's no missing observations, making sure the code is correct. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I, I decided to make a its own tutorial for merging because I think that it's uh, it's that important when you're dealing with uh, many data sets.